In my laboratory, we are interested in understanding how biological form is generated using zebrafish embryonic development as a model. We use quantitative imaging along with modeling to try to bridge mechanisms from the molecular scale up to cellular levels and tissue levels. In this particular study, we're looking at the zebrafish neural tube to try to understand how pattern can be formed while proliferation and morphogenesis is concurrently going on. The patterning of different neuron progenitors in the embryonic neuron tube is a very important early step in the development of vertebrate nervous system. Different neuron progenitors expressing different genes are arranged in an orderly fashion. From the cross-sectional view, they look like stripes on top of each other along the dorsal ventral axis. This pattern prescribes the locations of different neuron types as well as the circuits that they form, which are crucial for the normal function of the nervous system. How this pattern forms has been the focus of extensive research. Morphogens are signaling molecules that diffuse from a source to instruct cell fate. In the ventral neural tube, sonic hedgehog made by the notochord and floor plate specifies a wide variety of neural progenitors. Progenitor cells measure the amount of sonic hedgehog they receive to choose what cell fate to adopt. Therefore, it is believed that the gradient of sonic hedgehog specifies stripes of progenitors in different positions. While this model provides a good explanation, many questions still remain. One particularly intriguing question for us is how does pattern form when morphogenesis and proliferation are going on. What does positional information mean if all the cells are moving around? We set out to address this question with the goal of fully capturing the pattern formation process in the ventral neuron tube in zebrafish embryos. Our hope was to be able to follow single neuron progenitors as they move around and become specified. This is a very challenging task because during this time, the embryo undergoes drastic morphological changes making continuous imaging on the same cells very difficult. It took us a lot of time and hard work to get everything working on the imaging, but then we started getting the desired movies. It all happens in front of your eyes. The cells move, divide, change shapes, and express different genes. In moments, a pattern neuron tube takes shape. To extract information from in total image sets, we developed a software package called GoFigure, GoFigure allows cells to be segmented and tracked using both manual and automated approaches. Once cells are tracked, complex dynamic movements and gene expression changes can be quantitatively analyzed. As we accumulated more and more tracks, unexpected observations start to emerge. First, we found that the response to sonic hedgehog signaling of the neuron progenitors is quite noisy. Both the responding cells and the sonic hedgehog producing cells move around a lot. By tracking and imaging different fate markers, we found that cells are specified in overlapping distributions. Cells then continue to move and unmix to form the final pattern. This shows that pattern formation is a process of self-assembly, where cells, based on their cell fate, move to the correct position. Thus, pattern formation is a much more active process than previously thought. When we introduced ectopically specified progenitors, they were able to move to the correct locations. And when we disrupted the movement of normal progenitors, a stripe did not form. The discovery of cell sorting in the neural tube provides answers to a number of questions, such as how patterning and morphogenesis occur at the same time, and how noise and signal transduction and positional information can be canalized to robustly generate precise patterns. Furthermore, this model for pattern formation is a cellular-based model, which overcomes many limitations of molecular-based mechanisms. We're very excited to share these findings with the scientific community. To know more about our story, please read our paper on this issue of cell. Make sure you watch the movies.